Okay. All right, so let's talk about the dance halls. About what? The dance halls. Yeah. There was three dance halls. There was two dance halls we used to go to. 53rd and 3rd Avenue. In its fair ballroom. And then there was another to see the ballroom at 86th Street. Yeah. And then in the year 1939, I heard there was one open in 40, 49th Street and Madison Avenue. So about, I think it was the year, uh, the month of September. Yeah. So you day. went to these places often? Uh, yeah, every weekend. Often. But this new one, on the year 1939, I went down and tried that one. Okay. 49 and Madison Avenue. Uh -huh. See? So I went in and uh, looked around at the girls. Yeah. And I remember one girl I asked her out and then she said, when I was dancing with her, I said, um, where do you live? Oh, she says, I don't live here. I don't like it. I live in Boston. I danced for her. That was the end of that. <laughs> See? So I kept looking around. She lives in Boston. And I spotted three girls sitting on for the next dance. Three of them. Uh -huh. Of course, there was one better looking than the other. So well, there always is. I asked her for the dad out to dance. And then as I was dancing with her, I said, where do you live? She says, I live in the Bronx, 100 and... Can I have a tissue? I'm 38th Street. And, and uh, I'm 38th Street. This girl you're talking about, that you met at the dance place? Yeah, that was my wife. There's three of them together. So I asked... Oh, yeah? I asked her if um, I could go walk her home, or yeah. her home. Well, she says, I'm not going home tonight. I'm staying with my girlfriend at 89th Street. And uh, between uh, Madison and Park, I think. Well, uh, she went over and she was speaking to them. And one of the girls says, he looks like a nice fella. We'll walk ahead here and you can walk us home. <laughs> we walked, when well, the dance was over around 11 o'clock, between 11 and 12. Yeah. We walked over to uh, Lexington Avenue and walked all the way up to 86th Street. And I asked her to, then this other girl was left, this other girl was with her. And we caught up with her. And uh, we, I asked her in for coffee on 86th Street. To some coffee shop? Yeah, there was a coffee shop. And she said, no, I go home. And she said, I leave the door open for you. When oh. So she went home and she came in for coffee. We had coffee. Yeah. So I left her to the door. Yeah. And the door was open, 89th Street somewhere. With. And um, I said, what are you doing tomorrow? She said, nothing. I'm going home up to my apartment. I said, would you like to go to the World's Fair? I had tickets for the World's Fair. Oh, World's, yeah. World's Some water there for you, Pop. There was more. Um, the World's Fair was out the time. Uh, 1939. 39. And uh, she said, sure. So I said, I'll pick you up at 2 o'clock at 860, about 2 o'clock. And we went to the World's Fair next day. Oh, really? So who was this person? That was my, my wife. Well, that is your wife, right? Yeah, Addie O'Keefe. That's nice. Addie O'Keefe. <laughs> right. That's great. So, so you went, so that was your first date? Yeah. The, the World's, World's Fair. Fair. <laughs> nice. That is yeah, excellent. Come home from the World's Fair. I left her to where she lived. And then... Where did she live then? 130 years ago. And... Uh, I forget the name of the street now. Up to 130 years ago. In Bronx. Manhattan? Yeah, no, in the Bronx. In the Bronx. Uh, near St. Mary's Park. The other side of St. Mary's Park. Okay, thanks. So, let's talk about... So then I... Okay, huh? What? So I left her there, uh, and I didn't ask her where she was working or anything. And uh, a few days after, I was downtown on 14th Street in Kleins. 
Big okay. store. Klein's su uh, department store? Yeah. Right? I don't know. I, I went down there for something. And who comes? I love when you saw the girl who was with her that night. Really? The first night that you met her? Yeah. Her name was Ka yeah, Kathleen Buckley. And she said, hello, Pat. I said, hello. Have you seen that lately? No, I said, uh, don't you know where she works? I said, no. She works at Watermakers. <laughs> she told me, see? So how, how long after was that then you went to the World's Fair? About a couple of weeks. Yeah, okay. So she told you where Nanny worked? Well, I went over to, uh, to, uh, <laughs> to Wanamaker's and uh, looked around to see a cashier. She was a cashier there. Right. And, uh, she told us that story many times. And then I spoke to She says, uh, I'll be um, out about 7 o'clock. This was now about 2 o'clock in the afternoon. So you were moving fast, weren't you? Keep talking. So you went there and she said... So uh, she says, uh, you can meet me outside about 7 o'clock. Yeah. So that night, I came down. At about 7 o'clock, I was waiting for her to come out. Yeah. No sign of her. No sign of anybody coming out of one week. I was... Uh, uh, I went to Wanamaker's, I went to the store from 7 till 9, and then they all came out. And she wow. said, uh, the old bitch, she says, oh, so near, she said, she says, Miss O'Keefe, you can't mix business with pleasure. She says, so I have to go, my boyfriend is outside. So she didn't come out at 9 o'clock that night. Because they wouldn't let her out? I don't know, yeah, they kept, kept them working. Yeah. Uh, where, where was Wanamaker's? What street uh, was Ninth it? Street. Ninth Street, right. Yeah. And like, uh, I'm Broadway almost, right? Ninth and... Ninth, uh, ninth and... Uh, oh, poor, no. <laughs> it was a big apartment store. It was uh, operated by English people. Yeah. Very, very expensive store. Yeah? Really? She was a cashier there. Yeah. But... Um, and, and so you had been here... And her sister was working with her. Uh, was which working. sister? Catherine. Catherine, Murphy. yeah. Murphy. Catherine Murphy. Murphy. The two of them were working there. Nice. They used to commute from... Only Catherine was married. At the time. She was. But she got married. Cheers, man. Nice meeting you. Yeah. Nice meeting you. Okay, nice meeting you. Yeah, good nice meeting you. Bye. Bye. Have a good night. You too. Bye bye. Bye. It was nice meeting you. See you again, maybe. Bye for dinner. Yeah, no problem. Thank you very much. So she worked with, Ka uh, with Catherine. They worked yeah. there together. Yeah. So when they got out and then we, we met with her subway, Catherine comes along and she introduces me. She works. Yeah, well, you didn't know Catherine, right? No, I didn't know right, her, no. Right. How could I know her? Right, I don't know. <laughs> she entered. And Catherine says, uh, uh, that was, I don't know what time. Uh, come on, they were living in Astoria. In Astoria, really? Uh, yeah, him and her. They got married on the quiet, while, while uh, her sister was in Ireland. But that was, that was the time before I didn't know anything about it. Uh-huh. See? Yeah. So that was still... When she came back from Ireland, she had nowhere to go, and so she had to stay with some strange woman. So know. she stayed with Anne, with with Nanny. It's like so when she came back, from, who came back from Ireland? My, my wife. Right. She you know some some other woman. I forget her name now. She died. She she had to go to her to stay there. But now Nanny. They had an apartment when when they left Ireland. Where they left before she went to Ireland, and in the meantime, while she was over in Ireland, Catherine got married to Eddie Murphy and. I'd be quiet. So Nanny was here, and then she went back to Ireland? Yeah. And then came back? Yeah. Really? That seems to have happened a lot with people. Yeah, I know. It is, yeah. Like you were saying last after, night. After your five years here, you can go back, and then you're allowed to come back again. Oh. But if you don't do that, then you, go, you have to re look for a re-entry permit. Did you ever go back? Well, I In the back. first five, ten years? No, no right. 35 years before right. I went back. It took you a long but a lot of people seem to have come over and then they went the back. Sure, that's a five years. Yeah. So, so this was still 1939. Uh, she went back, and she went back with this girl, Catherine Buckley. Uh -huh. They went back together. Uh -huh. to Put those headphones on and make sure it's sounding okay, Mark. The ones that are hanging right. His head needs to be in the middle. Well, right, but you got to give him room to move because he maneuvers. Uh -huh. But that's okay. Um, okay. So, so you had been here ten years now. Because you came in 29, and now we're, this is 39. When did Nanny come over? A year after, I understand. Okay. Yeah, yeah. 
You can hear that, right? It's loud, right? Nineteen thirty. But that's okay. The background noise is okay. And I'm fine. I yeah. believe it was a year after she came around. Uh, so you didn't meet her? You guys were here for a long time before you met each other? Oh, yeah, I didn't meet her until 1939. <laughs> that's great. That's, that's I was married in 1940. Okay. Of course, I'd be 60 years, 61 years married today. Today? Yeah. Congratulations, sir. Today. Congratulations. That's uh, awesome. Happy anniversary. Yeah. Uh, it was the 1st of September. The Sunday before Labor Day. The 1st of September. Okay. Yeah. So now, tell us about, let's switch gears, okay? Let's yeah, yeah. change a little bit. Let's do the family tree. Your, your father, your mother, your brothers. Let's go through that. Let's talk about... Well, my father died in 1927. Okay. From a uh, stroke. And his name was, what was his name? James Coughlin. James Coughlin. Uh -huh. And he had... Uh, he was married before. He was married twice, like. Uh-huh. He married... He was in the Royal Artillery Band uh, in that row. Oh, so that's where you get your interest in. He, he uh, a euphonium player there. A what, a what player? Euphonium, you know. What is that? You, it's like, uh, uh, you know, like a big bass, only smaller. Oh, okay. It's a lovely instrument. But then he met the, uh, two other guys, we name them Tim Griffin and Luke Griffin, and he married their sister, as well from what I know, Ellen Griffin. Uh, but she died of typhoid fever. So, so what, what year was your father born? What, what time? What year was he born, your father? My born? Your father, yeah. Oh, 18, 18. So he died in 27. How old was he when he died? 65. So he was... Uh, 18 something. Yeah, 27. 50 something. He was... Uh, so 1862 almost, right? Yeah, 63, yeah. Something like that. Like that. Okay. Wow. And uh, He was seven years older than my mother. My mother. Right, your mother. So he married... His first marriage... Yeah, he married his... Uh, Alan Griffin. Ellen Griffin, yeah. the the sister of the bandmate or yeah. in the band. <laughs> and uh, she died of. Uh, do you know what year they got married? Huh? Do you know how old he was when he got married? No. Yeah. <laughs> and then he had so then he had yeah. how many children? He had three children, three. three girls and a boy. What? the first marriage? I think uh, Lily was the oldest, and Jimmy, and uh, Carrie, and Baby, uh, and. Uh, Oh, baby was from baby was your half sister. Yeah, step sister. Yeah, step sister. She, Lily, uh, sister. Lily went to Canada. And she got married up there. She did. So he had. And she said, "I went up to see her one time." Really? When I was uh, after working on the subway, so had I had a week's vacation for the subway, and I started. And where did she live in Canada? The, after the first year. Yeah. And I went up there and I met. Where in Canada did you go to meet her? Uh, Montreal. Montreal. Um, so then his wife died, right? Yeah, she died at the same time as Prince Albert in England. Typhoid fever. Typhoid fever. So, uh, 1911? Well, Molly, Molly was born in 1905. She was the first, wow. the second family. Okay, okay. So he must have got married between 1900 and 1904. Okay. So Molly was the first. First. Helen was the second. Helen and me. And then Rita. And then Rita. Rita. Yeah. So there was. Um, About a year, nine months between us all. Or you say two years. Okay. Wow. But Helen then, uh, Tom Quinn, my uncle in Suffern, his wife died, and he had two boys. And uh, he wanted a picture of. Uh, the two, the th three girls, he sent for a picture of them, and he picked out Helen and said he'd bring her out. So we, she was, she came to America two years before us to, to keep house for him. Okay, okay. So now, be, okay, before she came for him, what about the other girls, Lily and they? They had already come over. No, uh, uh, now, did they uh, all come Lily over? Lily had already been in Canada. She came to Canada. Yeah, and. Uh, Baby stayed at home, uh -huh. and uh, Kathy w was working somewhere, and she met a guy uh, along Castlery or somewhere, and she moved to Ennis County there. Okay, so she stayed in Ireland as and well. And got married there, and had three girls and a boy. 
so only so only um a lily has a uh, two boys and a girl in canada okay and baby had uh but baby four. did baby ever come to this country oh sure she did wait but she she but was she the last to come right because she stayed and got married in ireland she, you know, she went to uh up to canada first oh and, okay and then came down to to newark right I, I i met baby i remember her when i was younger so then um your uncle called for helen yeah, yeah. so he wanted everyone to come over no he but just, he first called for her to come over yeah yeah he wanted he my uh, father mother sent a picture of molly and him to molly and helen together and he uh, picture helen <laughs> molly just wouldn't go anyway. molly yeah. said she didn't want to go right and then, so she, so Helen came over. Yeah, and she kept house room for. Her. Yeah. And so then, for, uh, did you? Um, you must have got a lot of letters back and forth. My mother did, but she never wrote well, and tell us something. She arranged then for me to come out here, so and that, I didn't know it. Really? But Jimmy said he was going to go too, uh, to to a baby because uh, and go no. Uh, Tom Crane came home and he said, you'd be doing awfully better if you were in the States. Your job pays more. And that encouraged Jimmy to go. He said, he'd go out. In the, this was in 19... We came what? 19... You came over in... Uh, I forget, you told me last night, but... 1929. Right, right, 1929. 1928. Right. Quinn came over. Yeah, yeah. And, told and he me. was your mother's brother. Brother, yeah. Right. John, in the meantime, baby was married and she moved down to Newark, to um, Clifton Avenue, Newark. And her husband got pneumonia and died. Really? In the meantime, Jimmy and I had already made arrangements to come out. So baby's husband yeah. died before you got here? Yeah. But he, we had already made arrangements while her husband was alive. Wow. This was in... Uh, Around the fall, anyway. Uh -huh. But in, he died in January or February. Um, we were supposed to arrive in April. But we went through it, we came out. So she was a widow when we came out. Wow. He, he died in the morning. Wow. He was. Um, and how old was she when that happened? She was young, yeah. Yeah, she was. Had to be young. Well, let me see. Uh, she was nine years older than me. Nine years older than me. He made it 13. So you were, uh, how old were you when you came here? 20? 20, 21, exactly. 21, 21, so she was 30? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. In 1929 or 28, roughly, or so. 29, 29. So, okay. No. Right, so let's, so, so, okay. Then I, I, uh, Mother was with Tom Quinn for from nineteen. Uh, right. So she came. Two, when did she nine, come over? She came over, came over in August nineteen twenty nine too. Oh, she did. Yeah. Right after you. Um, Ali and her came, but, but I didn't know about it. Oh, she arrived. really? He, so he, she. So you came over in the spring. Yeah, he came and over. And she in came the, over in the fall. In August, he went over and brought them out. Ah. So he was I, pretty much. You know. He had some connection with the, uh, with the uh, people. That, the boat, the own the boat. He was able to get the Cunard line, maybe. What? The Cunard. Cunard. <sighs> so that was good of him to get you guys over here, I guess. Well, yeah. yeah. So then your mother came over with Molly. Molly, yeah, in August. Uh, uh, now, okay. Where's Rita now? Is she still? She, oh, Rita had already come out ahead of us. So you she, all came? Yeah, she was living in Buffalo with her aunt uh, that I went up to. Yep. Yeah. First, but she was working some. So she yeah. was in Buffalo. Yeah. And then, when Rita heard that we started a pop in the Bronx, she said, goodbye, Buffalo. She left Buffalo. She came all the, she came all the way uh, down. Okay. She wanted okay. to be with the family. Okay, so now, okay. <laughs> nice. You got that. That's a, yeah, I do get that. And I can just rewind the tape and listen to it again and figure it all out. Because <laughs> I can't seem to figure it all out. Now, this, that would be uh, between 1937 and 1939. And then Social Security started in 1937. Uh -huh. And this girl I told you that lived in that lone town, I said uh, Alice Henry was her name. 
Uh-huh. I knew her from, uh, from she was a child. Uh, she went to school with me. And then, of course, the, the boys left the uh, nun school. They had to go to the master school or go to the brother school, if, if, which you had to pay for. So the, yeah, after seven years old, you had to leave the convent. And uh, the girls stayed. So then we went to the master school. Your mother came over, and she lived with your uncle for From, four uh, or five years, uh, maybe. Yeah, uh, 1930. Let's see, 1937, I think. Okay. And in the meantime, he found out he had cancer. Right. Well, he did. And he went anything. fast, right? Yeah. Well, then he brought his mother. We were living, and he brought her down, and he says. Yeah, she used to take care of her. I was not working at the time. And Jimmy says, well, we, we, we keep her here. And you'd have to get a place. So, Molly so and you I, and Molly? Yeah, we got together. We came into New York, looked around, and we happened to get off at 160. Nearly Yankee Stadium, walked over, and we kept looking. And we saw this would be a good place as a church across the way. Uh-huh. And we got it. And, uh, Morris Avenue, I think it is. Why did you go to New York? Where you, should you go? Well, I, I don't know. Everybody. Well, you were living in Suffern still, right? Where were you living before you moved to New York? Uh, in, in Newark. Oh, uh, sorry, Newark. Wait, wait, That's wait, what wait, I mean. Be and Jimmy. Wait, 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 wait. So, so Jimmy stayed in Newark? Yeah. And you and Molly and your mom moved in? And then Rita heard about it and she and came? She came down and, and, and then Helen, was, she came along too after he died. Um, the whole lot of his After business. your uncle died, because yeah. she stayed with him the whole time. Yeah. So then there was your no. all four, did, six her, of you. He left her something. I don't know what it was. Some stocks or something. Yeah, he uh, did. Like, she never told us that. Okay. I think her daughter told her hand it over to her daughter. So, so uh, your mother, yourself, Helen, Molly, and Rita. Yeah. And so how long did that? How long until? Well, 1937, 1935, right there. Between 1936 and 1937, who, Molly was the first to get married. She was. And then, uh, then Rita got married, the head, and then Helen got married to Jim Orbit. That left me. And then there were you were. <laughs> so they were all married, had the wrong Now, family. when did your mother die? She died in 1950. Oh, yes. Yeah, 19, oh, that's, that's 1945. She was 25 years here. She was 60 years old when she came here. And she was 85 when she died. What was her name? What was your mother's first name? Uh, Catherine Quinn. Oh, Catherine. Catherine Quinn. Yeah. Julia. Um, she married James Cochran. Gotcha. So now, they moved out. Your sisters moved out. Yeah. They got married and moved out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was just you and your mother. Yeah. And then, and then you met Anne? No, but Molly, Molly, Molly's husband then got TB. Oh, really? He got, she, had, she had two children by him. De, uh, Dean. Billy Dean and Billy Dean. One of them died. I know. I met them. I don't and know. She had to go to work for but she, she got a job across the way in the church. So wait, so she got married? Yeah. And she had two children? Yeah. By, but, and, but then her, her husband died? Yeah. What year was that about? Did she come back and live with you again? Because you're still living with your mother at the time, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She was the youngest. I know. And, and then... So, you got married in 1940. Yeah. You, you were still living with your mother? Yes. And then what did you do? Did you... Remember. Yeah, think about that for a second. Well... No, when I met uh, Anne, uh-huh. uh, I got found out where she worked in uh, Wanamakers, mm-hmm. and then I got, uh, where she lived 138th Street, and oh, what the hell have you? She lived with these people, they were from Newmarket too, she knew them, Nora Mann, and her husband, and uh, his daughter, and she brought me up there to meet them. But uh, her husband died too. A lot of people dying. What did he die of? Whatever. He was uh, drinking. Yeah, and he worked in the subway as well. But, uh, and um, 
Then I said, I got her to come up and meet my family. I brought her up to meet Molly in the house. And my mother always called her Nancy, and I hated it. Nancy, I hated that name, but she called her Nancy. Your time. mother called Molly Nancy? No, my uh, aunt Nancy. Aunt Anne. Oh, yeah? Uh, uh, why, why did she call uh, her that? Nancy, it's another name for Anne. It is? Anne Nancy. Uh, oh, okay, okay, I didn't know that. Yeah. No. Uh -huh. So. So did, um... So when you got married? 1939, 19, uh, early 1939, I think, I, uh, after meeting the family then, mm -hmm. I was leaving her home. And before I left, I said, would you marry me? And she says, I said, don't answer right away. If you feel like it, we we'll go up to a uh, certain place and uh, I'll buy the ring for you. But, uh, Next time I met her, she says, okay, we we'll, yeah, we'll yeah. go to the place on Fordham Road. It's really? a jewelry store. Uh -huh. I borrowed an engagement ring. Yeah. Around uh, $90 or something at the time. That was a lot of money. Sure. I remember when I was living in Newark with Jimmy, saving my first $2 in the bank. But by the time I left uh, Newark, I had $1,000 in the bank. That's pretty good. <laughs> That's pretty and when good. I met her, and you know, we got to know her, she had the same thing. Yeah. $2,000. <laughs> so you liked her. each other. <laughs> we all opened a bank account together. Uh huh. <laughs> so where did you live when you now, were first? Uh, yeah, yeah. Like I might as well tell you, like Molly liked her, mm -hmm. but uh, Rita didn't like her. She did. Uh, Helen, Helen, Helen was kind of, yeah, she does. But Rita didn't like her. Her husband, he, he hated her. Really? Uh, yeah, and he, he was a jerk altogether because he wanted his own way. And she was a pretty strong woman. Yeah, who? Nanny. Yeah, she was. Yeah? She. Yep. Um, so when you got married? No, uh, so, uh, how did I say? No, in uh, September, 1939, 1940. At yeah, the end of 1939, in the spring or something, said, I get my vacation. Of course, I'm taking, uh, I, had, I had a month off at that time, four weeks. You got to, uh, you started off in the IRT, which after year one week, and after two years, you went to, I had five weeks coming to me. That's pretty good. See? And, uh, and, uh, so I said, we get married on the 1st of September, and we go up to Montreal. In the meantime, I had been up in Montreal before that, and I knew this girl up here, <laughs> uh, Mavis O'Rourke. In fact, she was in love with me too. She, I, I think if I asked her to marry me, she would have wow. married me. But then she lived in Montreal, and I lived in thing. I don't know. Yeah. But she got married, and her husband died, and left her two children too. You know, she had a, her father has a nice home up there. So she asked us, well, if you can get married, Patty, come up and spend your, your uh, honeymoon with us. Really? See? That's so, nice of her. But, yeah, but at the same time, Anne had only her first papers out. Right. She was due to take the second out, but didn't go to bother until. But in the meantime, I had my second papers out. Because we applied right away, Jimmy and I. What does yeah. that mean, your second paper's out? Well, yeah, 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 yeah. you get your first papers, they're only good for five years. Right. Then you apply for your second papers, mm -hmm. and you're made a citizen. Okay. So Anne just was a little slow at it. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And I had to, I had to, uh, I and somebody else, oh my God, had to, uh, you had to have two witnesses. So you headed off to Montreal. Yeah, and she wasn't there. <laughs> and you so we got there, and then the way and he says, uh, the man that examined you before you get off, he says you might have trouble getting back here. You better see the, you better see the 
my my ambassador to Ireland. Uh -huh. um, but they would have let you in. But they said. That's him. But but you, 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 you might have trouble getting her out. So you better go and see uh, the ambassador to uh, America. So I, we were there for a week, and I said, "Come on, we're gonna." When I went down to see him, his name was Barry. Barry. <laughs> so he says, uh, "I'm from New York." We were about a week there. So he says, um, uh, "Prove to me you're married." I says, "There's a ring. That's no good." He says, "I want to see your birth certificate." Oh, brother! So I had to come. I, I left Montreal that night. So, down. so you were in Montreal. Yeah. So the, the, the train yeah. went all the way into Montreal. Yeah, yeah. We stayed there about a week before I started to do something. Okay. And then, uh, ah, when I had to. Go, they get a marriage certificate, so she, he said he would send for her, but in the meantime, she had to be back to work in a week. <laughs> so the best thing I did is travel down at night time. So uh, tell me about this trip. How, what time did you leave, roughly, Montreal? Montreal, like coming down? Yeah, coming back down to get the marriage certificate. Like, how uh, long was the trip? Uh, ten hours. Ten hours by rail? By rail. I left at night and uh, got arrived in the morning. Yeah. And I came to Molly, went to Molly's apartment. Uh -huh. And she went over and got the certificate. And that night I came right back up to Montreal again. Okay, so it was like almost, yeah, great. What? So you were gone for a I day? Didn't, I didn't hand it to him and he okay to take a few, in about, <laughs> it was only about four days in the, before we were she was back. She had to be back to work. So did you, uh, what did you do on your honeymoon? Was it fun? How'd you like Montreal? Oh, I liked it. Oh, I loved it. Yeah, Montreal was a lovely place. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. you had been there before. I had been there before. To I see did. that other woman. What? To see that other woman. Yeah. That other girl. Yeah, my baby's so rogue. Yeah, it's funny. She's single. And what was it like in Montreal then? What did you do there? Oh, we traveled all around, you know, the parades and it's a nice, it's a, it's a lovely, yeah, we Yes, I have been there. Oh, we're looking, uh, Mount, Mount Royal, up in Mount Royal. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. uh, and then Lily was there at the time we met her. She was? Yeah. Well, really? Because she, she was living there, right? Yeah, but she was a widow at the time. Uh -huh. Her husband got killed. Uh -huh. but I think he was a, an alcoholic. Yeah. I only met him once. How are we looking? Um, shit, that's interesting. No. His first big date was the World's Fair. That's so great. Well, for Nan. What else she wanted to know now? Who is Julia? Is Who is Julia? Julia? Is she Who's your grandmother? Who is Julia? Who is your... Do you know anybody named Julia? No. No. Who, who are you... So where is your... Uh, your father was from Athlone. Oh yeah, he was by and, born at Plaza. And he was a rail, he was a railroad man, right? Wasn't no, he, he was a bricklayer on uh, Stone Mason. He was a bricklayer on Stone Mason. Okay. And he was very popular. Oh yeah, he was a. Because I've read his obituary. Uh, obituary. He, he uh, built half that lawn. Can, can I have a? Can you get me one of these from the thing downstairs? Yeah. The Polliner, it's called. Yeah. But uh, uh, yeah. you know, because we have the obituary from his when he died, uh, and Jim, it's Jimmy. Really, uh, Jimmy was the uh, same thing too. Your but brother, your used, brother. Used, when we walk and be slacking that lawn, they'd go up to England to work during the war. See, he got plenty of work at the time over there. So now, what about, where was your mother from? Right from that lawn too. From that lawn as well? Lived, about a uh, mile outside the town called Bearlock. She lived with her, her mother at, at the time. I was four years old. Because I remember seeing her mother and the mother died and I'm hanging onto the coffin looking in at her. And ni 1912. You remember that? Because her mom died. Yeah, I was four years old at the time, eight and four. See? And uh, I remember being at the funeral. Mm hmm. Baylock. Baylock, yeah, I suppose. Yeah. Where was your father's first wife from? Uh, oh, she, she was from. Um, he was from. I understand the Cochrans were from Banner. She was from County Kildare. Uh, uh, her name was uh, Elizabeth O'Grady. <laughs> O'Grady. O'Grady from I County Kildare. Okay. And and your mother's maiden name? What was, it was her? Catherine Quinn. Right, Quinn. Yeah. Quinn. Uh, Quinn. 
Paddy, our father's name was Patrick Quinn. He was a supervisor over the uh, Midland Great Western Railroad. He's who the, he, I have his obituary. Yeah. Um, yeah, he was, okay. Yeah, he was Catherine to, Quinn. Yeah, yeah. You know, he used to, uh, in charge of the main, yeah, going down to Atlone from Atlone to Galway, which is the main run from Dublin to Atlone. And then you change to go to the west of Ireland, or let's go to Galway. Midland Great Western Railroad. He was. Yeah. Um, he was a gaffer, they call him a gaffer. Uh -huh. He's in charge of uh, placing men on the train. The father, we did the father, the mother. What am I listening here? First mother. I lose my I, it's, it's hard to follow if you're not But my through. father had uh, a brother and a sister. Okay. Uh, but my mother had a Lebanon family in Queens. Le 11 or 12. 11 or 12. She had five points. sisters out in this country. I met them all but one. Really? Emily. I didn't meet her. Emily? My father had a brother and sister. And uh, the sister married to a sergeant major. And yeah. he was a teacher. He used to teach the young English uh, how to become an officer. Mm -hmm. yeah, very smart man. Uh, James Fitzpatrick was his name. But she died young too. Okay, so... Um, uh, my uncle Paddy, my yeah. other father, he died yeah. of cancer on the neck. So your uncle, your your father had a brother and a sister. A brother and a sister. And his brother was Paddy. Paddy. Um, Paddy Paddy Conklin. Did he have any kids? Do you know? Yeah, he had uh, uh, four boys. Four boys. Do you know what their names were? Yeah, I do. Christy. Uh huh. He died of uh, banging the head from a school. From a, he got meningitis. Died a young oh, man. Oh yeah. Christy, Michael, Frank, and Jim. All Coglins. All Coglins. And do you know, do they live in Athlone? What? Did, did, were they born in Athlone? They were born in Athlone, but um, okay. Frank was the eldest, I think. He moved to England. Okay. Got, got, he was married there. But he, he liked his drink too. Yeah. Um, no. And Michael came out with us when we were coming. Michael came He in. was the one with the, yeah. that came with you? Yeah. Okay, your cousin Michael. Yeah, Michael, yeah. Okay, I see. And he, he left. <laughs> yes, he only said he was back before Christmas. He was back for now in that long for Christmas. So you, so you knew them, their cousins? Next thing you heard yeah. of him, he died. Yeah. Now, you know, your father's sister. Yeah. What was her name? Uh, Elizabeth. You just told me that, but yeah. Uh, uh, Elizabeth, too. Elizabeth. Elizabeth. Right. Then she got married? She, she was called after her mother. Elizabeth. Oh, Grady. She was called Elizabeth Cox. I'm sorry, right. Elizabeth she, James and Patty. She was O'Grady. Yeah, O'Grady. So she married O'Grady. And do you know how many kids do they have? Yeah, yeah. They had a, a boy, two boys, and two girls, I think. And one of the boys was my age. And he came out to this country, joined the army out here. He was a bombardier and was killed over Pearl Harbor, okay. or uh, over uh, Japan, you know, blown to bits. Yeah. It's okay. Um, I don't know what... Oh, hey. So that's not... That, okay, so your father's brother had four boys, your father's sister had um, two boys and... I don't even know what... Uh, but my mother had a big family. Uh, Eleven sisters, I think. She well, now let's talk about your father's family. Still, hold on. What? Do you know? Do you know who your father's parents were? Yeah, Paddy and uh, Elizabeth Cox, Elizabeth O'Grady, my great grandparents. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's okay. Okay, so then your mother. So let's talk about your mother. She, well, my mother was named Catherine Quinn. Right. She had a she had a big family too. There's five sisters out here. Okay. We are and there was three at Agnes, Sarah, and another one at home. Five and three is eight, and uh, three boys. Tom, that was the one I came to. Mm -hmm. John stayed in that blow. Mm -hmm. And uh, and Paddy stayed in that blow. He married before we came here. Paddy, John, and Tom. And she had about five, eight or nine sisters. All right. I think I have to stop now. <laughs> Why? Huh?
No, because I can't follow. Well, I need to write it all down. You have to digest, and then you go for more. You can't do too no, much. I, no, I know that. But, you need but to Papa play, wants to keep talking, bud. You need to play the sword fight well, thing talk, for Maureen. I will. All right, we're going to stop now, okay? Because yeah. i, I got to sit down and write it all out for my own self. Then I can ask okay. you better questions. That's a lot of information. What would you say, uh, Maureen? Just ask me about something else. Oh, I know, but I'm, I'm tired. Yeah, it's very hard. It's draining. Day, next yep. Chapter. So, see, uh, so we lived uh, Morris Avenue on 64th Street. Uh huh. And John, John was born then, and uh, you remember? On Morris Avenue, yeah. Uh, St. Elizabeth's Hospital up in the Bronx. See? And the nurse that handed her over to me to take her home married Tommy Hendrick, who was a great Yankee player. At really? the time, Tommy Hendrick, he got hurt. He was in the hospital. Really? Yeah. And that's how he met her? Yeah, he met her. He and met her. See, oh. And he married her. He married that nurse. And she that's who him. gave my mother to you? And, and the nurse that attended him then took care of uh, oh. Anne when, she, when Joan, your mother, was born. That is too funny. <laughs> Tommy Hendrick. No, he, he was a uh, great uh, Yankee player. Yeah, I've heard of him. Now let's talk about Gabby Hartnett for a minute. Oh, Gabby Hartnett. Tell me about that. Yeah, I didn't know that until after I married her. She told me that Gabby Hartnett, uh, Gabby Hartnett's mother, uh -huh. no. Yeah. Two, two sisters came out to this. Yeah. New America, and they married two brothers by the name of Hartnett. They both, they two both Mahoney, married. Two Mahoney's. That was my, um, and the name, jo Johanna Mahoney. Okay. They came from Mid Street, I think. Mm -hmm. And she had two sisters, and they came out to this country mm -hmm. and married two brothers. And they worked on the New York Central Railroad. Mm -hmm. They lived up in Glen Falls. Howard mm -hmm. uh, and Catherine went up to see him. Mm -hmm. She told me. And then that's how I got to know uh, uh, Hartnett. And then he became a famous baseball player. And his, his sister was as good as him. Oh, really? Yeah, she said she, she could throw a ball better than so he, uh, you met him a few times, right? Oh. Gabby Hartnett. No, I never met him. You never met no, him? No, she did. Oh, I thought but you I had. saw him from the stage, from looking at him. He was pitching, him and Carol Hubbard were, uh, was a famous, what game was you call it? Yeah, well, uh, all-star game. All-star game. This is very famous. And, uh, 1934. Gabby Hartnett was a catcher. Yeah. And Carol Hubbard was a pitcher. And uh, they knocked out, they, they knocked out five of the best, uh, Murderer's Row. Uh, yeah, yeah. Lou Gehrig. But still the Yanks won Bay the Bruce. game by one. They won that game. And I was looking at it from the station of 160 posties. Mm -hmm. See, she... So what did she tell she, you about? Didn't uh, that I tell uh, you about him? Uh, she, uh, she, uh, she said, we do, we, I often wanted to go and meet him in the Yankee Stadium. Mm -hmm. And Catherine says, oh, he wouldn't recognize you. you we won't go. He, he wouldn't be able to bother with you. See, that's the kind Catherine was. Right. And he'd be Chip only on too glad. Chip on the shoulder. <laughs> right. Hmm. So then uh, he, uh, he became the manager of Chicago Cubs. Mm-hmm, mm -hmm. Then he died. I think he was 80 when he died. He was one of the best baseball players ever. One sixteenth of his blood, right? Well, I wasn't into it. I wasn't interested in... in, uh, in no, uh, I know. In right. the, I was more... To, uh, every year they used to send uh, English teams to come out and to go yeah. to them, you know. Mm -hmm. As I said, mm -hmm. Liverpool playing Sweden, mm -hmm. and then there was other teams came out and we used to go to see them. Johnny Joyce and I. And Johnny you know. Joyce. He was your buddy, wasn't he, Johnny yeah, Joyce? And uh, well, I met him on the subway. Yeah, you know. I know. He keeps well, coming up. He was from Ross... He was from uh, Ross Common, right? mm -hmm. And his uncle, then Con Leary, Russian Curry, Jimmy O'Donnell, mm -hmm. Frankie Owens, and Jim Murphy, and then a few. They're all Irish guys. You know, so. Yeah. All right. That's enough. <laughs> you wear me out. Nothing to hide. Give me this. No, I know. This is exciting. All right, thanks. We'll keep doing this. It's going to take a long time. But she did tell me, you know, she said, you know, I love you better than you love me. I said, I love you, but I have no way. I don't show it like you do. Ah. And I told her that. Is that right?
Yeah, that's all right. <laughs> Just because you're a man. Of course you don't show it the same way. <laughs> I got the same problem. That's all right. That is... What time? Murphy's. Yeah? His wife and... Uh, Murphy was a queer guy together. He was a... Uh, he was kind of funny, wasn't he? Yeah, he was... Uh, like John, he knew it all. And yeah. he didn't know the first thing. He was to brag a lot. How come they never had kids? They couldn't? They didn't want to or they couldn't? I don't think they could. could have. Yeah. All right. I need to go out on the porch. I need a family tree. I need to write it all down. I get all confused. I'm sorry. <laughs>